Hey guys, it's Vanderbosch here. Um, today we're gonna try to tackle the side door weather stripping. Um, I got some parts that I'll list in the description from amayama.com uh, and I really couldn't find too much documentation other than like the part listings from Megazip on how this goes together and comes apart. So we're gonna start off by taking off uh, these screw four screws and try to kind of take notes on what comes first and last and because it seems like it's like a sandwich system and how this window goes together so we're going to take those screws off and hopefully not drop the window and go from there so here are the parts that i got for this side window um this piece is the mv 47 24 I'm pretty sure this is just the side trim that holds where the clips go on the window and I'll show you those clips um, in the next clip. Um, this is the pad MB416674 that's shown on the part blowout. If I grab the part blowout, the MB416674 is 68024. So that's this piece right here. Um, I thought it was going to be an actual rectangular piece but they really just give you pad tape so I don't know if you necessarily have to get Mitsubishi specific it just looks like one-sided pad tape I, whatever um, then the MB 10 68 10 these are the like uh, nuts that you can see from the outside of the window um, I got a bunch of those um, the MU 47 0 26 this is Eclipse um, I know that there's a bunch of clips in there, so I, I bought a bunch just in case. Some probably have fallen off over the years, so if, just, if I see some slacking spots, I can just throw one of these on there. Uh, the MA141817. This is a gasket that I don't necessarily know where it goes. Hopefully we'll, we can tell where this goes when we pull the window off. And then I tried to order new hardware just in case I strip something. But they only had one in stock. Oh, I'm not even videotaping it. So the 683097, I only got one of them. So hopefully I only strip one thing. Um, but yeah, um, we're going to move into the van and I'll show you kind of what we're dealing with on the inside. So just as uh, an example of what we're showing outside, um, here's one of the clips. I'm pretty sure the trim piece, that larger piece, goes over this kind of seam all the way around. My van never had it, so now I will have one. Um, here's one clip right here and another clip up here right there. They're kind of awkwardly around the entire window, not in really any logical order. So we'll just maybe just follow exactly how they are shown here. Um, and then here is the bolt. So it looks like there's the uh, bolt, that gasket piece. And then that nut that's on the other side. This middle section right here, I think, is called the the sash on the uh, part uh, Mega Zip. I tried to order them, but I think you can't. So I, the fact that this hasn't been sealed for a while, I do have a lot of rust right here. I'm hoping me taking this window off doesn't cause a whole shit ton of other shit I have to do. But um, we'll see. So now I'm gonna attack these Phillips and go from there. So we were about to remove uh, the window using the Phillips, but I pushed on it to see where where was I getting the leak to begin with. And when we pushed on it, it was actually this surface that was separating from the door. So what holds this whole unit, the, 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 the sash, um, which is this like metal framing in the window, um, is just clips. There's clips all around this. So we took all the clips off and carefully removed the window. Um, one thing to keep in mind when you're doing that is that uh, the, that foam tape, it looks like it's part of it's put right here. The other part is actually underneath on the window side. So the window side, both sides of this sash have that uh, foam tape on it. I'm assuming it's to, to, to reduce rattling. So I'm going to clean off this old foam tape, probably take off these bolts. Even though I don't think I'm leaking from the interface between the window and the sash, I think I was leaking more between the, the sash and the door frame. But um, I'm going to remove this, clean both sides, put a new sheet of tape on it, screw these back in, inspect the gaskets. If I need new gaskets, I'll use some of the new ones I got. 
use those new clips. Um, the only thing I kind of, so I do have some if I can get in there. Do have some rust right there. I thought it was in a door frame. It's not in the door frame, it's just on this piece. So that makes me feel a little bit better. Uh, but I'll try to clean that up as best as I can. Um, and then later on when the, um, the new one comes on, maybe I'll swap it out. But I think that's the plan for now. I mean, you can kind of see how this tape was gone this way and gone this way. So it looks like this tape must be pretty flexible. So, all right, I'll show you the door um, just to see how that looks. So this is the door frame. My brother cleaned it off already. Um, it, this had, I don't think the tape was actually adhered to this side. It's, it's adhered to the sash, but some of that foam piece was still stuck to this outer ring. Um, luckily, there's no rust. I was really worried about the rust. So... Um, I'm going to, this is already cleaned off, so I'm going to clean off the other side and then put it back on. And this might have been a lot faster job than I thought it was going to be. I was really worried that this whole section was going to be rusted out and I was going to have to do some cleaning and preparation for it. But um, I'll start cleaning the window side and we'll, we'll go from there. So we scratched all of the sticker or that, that, that rubber padded sticker residue off this edge piece to put the new sticker down. Um, it was really, really, really on there tight. So we kind of used the edge of this, which is a funnel, but we just used this section right here to kind of go through and scratch it off. We also used some brake cleaner, some turtle wax sticker removal, but the, the turtle wax sticker removal actually didn't do that much. The brake cleaner kind of wiped it off pretty good. Um, we would just kind of soak a rag and brake cleaner, rub it on here until the rag was dirty. Once it got dirty, it kind of lost its like sandpaper like characteristics. So you gotta kind of keep going to a clean part of the rag and it slowly took out all the sticker residue. So we have that all off the window. Here's that little section that rusted through since this wasn't perfect. Um, so the next step was we're gonna go and take off the window that what we originally thought we we're gonna do first. Um, and take there's one more rubber pad so we're gonna go our uh, rubber sticker pad on the uh, on the back side of the window so we're gonna take this off and then scratch the other side and then replace that tape as well i mean if you're already really to be honest i could probably throw it up on there like how it is because i didn't have leaking between the window and the sash it was between the, the sash and the door but at the same time i'm already had this out i'm not going to try doing it again so I'm going to just go and scratch that uh, sticker part on the other side off. Um, these pieces are not easy to get out. I mean, most of the time you end up ruining the rubber outside piece. Because this is the nut. And you try to kind of push it in while someone else is turning the screwdriver. And you don't want to break the glass. So... It's a lot of messing with trying to put strength on it, but not too much strength. We actually have one that's a little stuck right now. This guy right here, we can't get off and we're starting to round that Phillips head out. And I, I don't think it's a Phillips head actually. I think it's like um, some, something a little bit different. I, I'd have to look it up, but um, we put, put some PB blaster on it and we're gonna wait for a little bit and then we're gonna try to zip it off. But right now we're not getting much luck we got all the other ones off except for this one. So we're gonna keep on trying and hopefully hopefully she comes off. So that one bolt actually took us a little bit longer than we thought. Uh, what we ended up having to do um, was I took a little Dremel. I got like a this Dremel thing here with a, like a metal cutting piece. And I just kind of cut a flathead section into this. Once we cut this flathead section into this, it actually came off super fucking easy. I think the reason is, is that flathead heated up, when I was cutting this into it, it heated it up and then it broke loose. So I was able to get this off. It seems like there's like some blue Loctite on all these screws, so I'll be doing the same thing back on there. Um, so once we got all these off, we wanted to separate the sash from the window. Unfortunately, this is even more stuck to the window than it was stuck to the van. So... You, we kind of took a flathead, I'll kind of show you the process. 
and slowly but surely stuck it between them and kind of like wiggled this back and forth. We also sprayed some brake cleaner in there and we were able to get it separated. Um, this piece is very flimsy, so I think you might be able to bend it. But um, so we have that piece off. Uh, now we're gonna clean uh, the sticker residue off this side and then put it back on and then put it back on the van. Um, so yeah, we'll see if we run anything else. This is more future reference for me. I'm cleaning off the sticker residue um, off this piece. These are the little gasket washers that I've ordered. Um, this was sitting on there like that. So the raised part goes up on this surface. So when I'm reinstalling this, I gotta make sure these gas gaskets are in the right orientation because they're not mirrored. It's flat on one side. So after a lot of uh, scrubbing, we were able to get a lot of that sticker residue off. So now we're gonna apply this double-sided tape. Um, it's about a quarter inch thick. So, I mean, if you wanted to get your own instead of buying this, you probably could. It's save you at least in shipping if you're ordering from America. Um, so we're gonna apply that to this side and then flip it over and apply the other roll <coughs> to the other side. Um, I, I really wish they just had a normal gasket. I hate applying sticky stuff. It's so hard to get off, but we're gonna run it and see what happens. Oh, another note I wanna make, if, just in case you rip this off and these fall out, there's these little rubber tabs that are on the side by each mounting location and then on the bottom as well. They should sit inside there flush. They're not symmetrical. They look like this. So if you put it in the wrong way, you're going to get this big lip that comes off. So they really only go in one way where they're flush on the top and the bottom. So you might lose those. I have six on mine. I don't know why the top didn't have one, but the, the sides by the mounting locations and then evenly spaced at the bottom, I had one. So we're going to get this foam tape in and then try to put this back on the window back onto this bra uh, sash. So just to let you know, you do not have that much slack when you go around this. I try to make it as straight as possible and it gets a little wib wobbly around here. So I probably used some up when I was going back and forth. I couldn't really keep as centered as I wanted to on this beam. Um, any places where they mate, I tried to kind of put them side by side versus overlapping them. So I did that here. This stuff is kind of weak if you pull on it. So if you pull on it too hard, you rip it. I ripped it up here, so I had to do a little bit of an overlap job right there just to make sure that I got a, a good piece all the way around. Um, but this, this, another good point to, um, to try to do is this is the window side. So we did the window side first that I didn't have to, I mean, maybe you have a cleaner garage, but my garage is dusty as shit. So we're gonna put the window on right away now and hopefully um, we can keep this foam strip as clean as possible. So we're gonna put the window on bolt it up with the new ga gaskets and everything, um, and then flip it around and do the other side and put it right back on the van. So that's the path forward we're gonna take. So these little pieces that, I'm even videotaping. Those little pieces I talked to you about before, these go in here. So before you place that on the sash or put the sash on the window, put these little rubber gaskets inside the hole. So because these windows have two mounting spots on the left and the right hand side, I think what the previous person who did this, or maybe this is from the factory, but I noticed when I was trying to clean off the residue for that um, double or that, that single sided tape, that there was sealant up here and down here, like a, a gas, like a, just like a normal windshield glass sealant that was at the top. And I think that's because if you look, you push on a little bit, this, there's nothing really keeping this two pieces together. I mean, the mounting spots are way over here, way over here. Any bending that happens along this angle, I can see water getting through. So I'm just gonna make a small bead We're using this windshield glass and sealant. On the inside, so if this is the outside of the window, I'm just gonna put it right here all the way down. Um, and hopefully that helps stop like, I'm not too worried about the sides since that's where the mounting locations are, but I am worried about right here. So I'm going to do that on the top and the bottom. So I set this up against my van after I put that uh, silicon inside there. And I just let it sit for an hour for it to cure. It says to give it an hour to cure. Um, 
I did one side, now I'm just gonna flip this around and then do the other side. And I pro it says 24 hours to cure. I'm probably just gonna wait till tomorrow to actually install this in the van. Um, the first side I did was the bottom side. So technically right now I probably could do the top side and install it and let it cure while it's on the van. But I'd rather just let it fully cure, get ready, and then I'll put on the van tomorrow. I think that's the best way of doing it. So I'm gonna apply silicon on the other side and then um, I guess tomorrow reinstall it, go through the car wash and see what happens. So it's the next day, the sealant um, hardened on both sides enough for me to lay it flat and um, apply that padded tape on the other side. And like I mentioned before, try to be pretty straight with your lines because I mean, this is how much I have left when I overlap on the other side, you almost start to think like, dude, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get all the way around. So just try to streamline it, try to make it as straight and parallel as possible when you're going around. Um, they don't give you that much extra. So now um, I'm gonna hold this up against the van. Uh, we're gonna use the clips. I think the clips are over here, right? Where did you put them inside, Davey? We're gonna use these clips to attach um, the window to this lip. So I'm gonna hold it up and then we're gonna put probably two on each side or something along those lines. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, we're gonna hold it up and then uh, reattach to the van. So we got the window in. Um, I ended up ordering 10 new clips. So I use three on the bottom, three on the top, and then one centered on this side, one centered on this side. And then this side's kind of creaked when I pushed on it, so I threw one there as well. Um, obviously, I think stock, there's only two down here, two up here, and then one on each side. And depending on how yours look, you might be able to reuse the old ones. Uh, mine were kind of rusted out since there was a water leak. Um, one thing that we fucked up on right away and it kind of sucks and it was really irritating was we got everything on and then I went to go buy the new trim piece that's supposed to cover all this stuff up and I realized that the rubber bushing that sits in the channel on the other side of this sash, I didn't put one of them in. So I guess be sure that all those, I think there's um, two of those rubber bushings inside the sash on this side. There's two on the bottom, and then there's two on the other side. Just make sure those are in before you push the window in. Um, you really do need two people. Uh, one person's inside the van putting the clips on, and the other person is on the outside of the van, not only to hold the window, but to push that padded tape in so that the clips can actually fit. I mean, even if you were to able to get the window in this spot, you, you need someone to apply some pressure so that these clips will actually go on. Um, so yeah, we're gonna put that trim on and I think this will be done. Um, so yeah, um, I'll come back when I get the trim on. So I uh, got the trim back on. I put the seam of the trim in the center. I don't think it really matters. Um, and this part number was the MB478724. Um, if you haven't seen my other weather stripping um, video, when I went through and did uh, these guys, uh, the same principle on putting this trim on kind of applies. And that's uh, when you initially put it in and you go all the way around, you think you're being real tight, you're gonna end up at whatever finishing location with a, a hump. And I almost cut my weather stripping thinking, oh shit, well, it's not the right size and I'm gonna have to cut it and make it work. But really all you gotta do is slowly massage that hump that's in this trim around the channel and eventually as you move all the way around this corner and this, this that 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 slack section gets smaller and smaller and smaller until it just disappears so i never had this trim in before it's, it's always been just you could see the metal of the sash and this uh carpeted cardboard piece so now with this in it does look com a lot more professional i didn't even know that there was a trim piece here because my van didn't have one. So yeah, um, it's installed. I'm gonna eventually, I, I think it's 24 hour cure time for that silicon that I used on the window. 
So I'm going to wait 24 hours before I try going through any um, uh, car washes. But I'm going to try taking it through a car wash and see what happens. Uh, most of the time when I go through a car wash, I have to get in the car wash and then jump into this back seat with the towel because this window will just rain water. So hopefully it's fixed. And I'm pretty sure this window also rattles. A lot of my rattling while driving or idle comes from came from this so i think that should be taken care of as well um but yeah so that's i guess replacing the leather stripping or pads on a fixed window on the sliding door um get out of here i don't know which project i'll be tackling next i know i've been mentioning those gauges in my videos is it something that i want to do um but I don't really know when I'll be able to do that. Um, that's probably the easiest one to do next is to start looking at uh, getting the EGT, the exhaust gas temperature gauge and a boost gauge. Um, actually, I think I have the housing up here. Um, bought off yeah so here's the boost gauge kit so here's the gauge for it um, and then this is the um, exhaust it's a pyrometer and then this box actually has one of the tripod housings for the Delica. Um, so I have a dual one. Um, and that mine, I don't think mine came with the outside inside temperature gauge. But hopefully I can get these two gauges and either the altimeter or that level gauge. I don't know which one I want to keep um, in the other slot. But mount that on my dash to make it look as stock as possible. I'm um, pretty sure I have Sorry, it's taking forever. Yeah, I have here's the e, um, EGR blanking kit um, and then I have taps for the uh, um, MPT taps for the sensor so I still have to tap this um, I didn't tap it all the way through initially because I didn't have the sensor and I don't want to tap it so deep that the sensor doesn't either extends too far or extends too shallow on the other side of this uh, um, bracket blanking off piece. So, yeah, I don't know when I'll get to this, but uh, there's some other um, goodies that could be installed. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, like, comment, do whatever you want to do. Uh, I'll be posting more videos in the coming weeks as um, I get deeper into working on this van. But uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.